Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly a couple ways to fix your FaceTime not working on iOS 15. Now this can happen for a couple different reasons, but if you're rocking a beta, sometimes issues you know will not work no matter what you do. The first thing you want to do though is make sure you logged into you know FaceTime. If you're having login issues on FaceTime, the first thing I would recommend doing is making way your way over to your settings app just like so. You want to scroll down into your general settings, which is right here. And then you want to scroll down to date and time settings. So as you can see right here, here's date and time. So you want to go and click there and you want to make sure this is either set to automatically or you have your actual date and time settings to where you're exactly at. If you're in an area that maybe you're not supported in or whatever, then obviously it's not going to work. So you want to make sure this is on set automatically. The next thing you want to do, make sure you're connected to a solid network connection. If you're rocking on Wi-Fi or cell or whatever and it's not working out well, well, there's going to be issues probably. So you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you're on a very good or decent, you know, cell network connection or Wi-Fi connection setting. You want to make sure you're somewhere near that. And the next thing you want to do is go into your FaceTime setting down here. So you want to scroll down until you see FaceTime right here. You then want to go ahead and click on it. And all you want to do is make sure you have FaceTime enabled. This is another pretty big issue that I've seen. Like I mentioned, a lot of people run into. And if their FaceTime thing here isn't enabled, then it's not going to work out. So make sure this is enabled and you should be good to go as of this point. You then want to go back into your FaceTime settings right here and see what the issues are. You know, if it's still causing issues or whatever, then obviously it's not going to work out for you. But let's just say it does work out fine and everything works out good, then you're set. If none of these things have been working out for you so far, finally what I would recommend doing is going within your general settings of your settings app, clicking on software update, and trying to update your device. Most of the time this may actually end up fixing it, and you know, regardless whether it fixes it or not, it's worth a shot. You may want to go back down to iOS 14 if that's an option for you, or if it's in the future, maybe going to iOS 15.3 or whatever is below you, that may be the better option as well. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.